Yo, what's up, boys and girls? My name is Sean, also known as Elite Shot, and that's right, I'm bringing you some more early Sabotage DLC gameplay, and this time, we're playing on a map called Neon. Word for word here, a virtual training center designed for urban warfare. Neon is a digitized battle arena where cars and other structures spawn out of thin air, and enemies dissolve into hundreds of pixels when defeated. Middle lane sight lines will cater to long range players, while the outside of the map allow for quick counter attacks in close quarter action. So that pretty much sums it up folks. Here we are again, playing with some other YouTubers. And let me say man, you really get to match up with some people and it, it makes you see how good or how good you aren't. Nonetheless, you know, we're all playing for fun. Though, deep down inside, we're all trying our best because we all want to get them prime gameplays, man. <laughs> Not everyone at the capture event was considered a Slayer player. A lot of the COD, I mean, some of the COD YouTubers were just like COD, you know, players that share news and other things that come out in the game. Then there were some people like myself where I like to slay and get as many kills as I can while dying as last as I can. Simply put, I like to play well, bro. Ever since I started playing Call of Duty, I've always liked to play well. If I'm not maintaining a positive at least 2KD, then hey, something's going on here. I'm dying too much. But a lot of the games, I was actually having a very tough time maintaining it too because when you play objective modes, you're gonna die a lot more than just TDM or kill confirmed here. But check this out, bro. We got the uh, K-Bar 32 Invec Invective. I always say that name wrong. I don't have this epic yet, and I, I don't think I'm gonna get it next. Like, it's super powerful, it's great, I love the K-Bar so much, but I feel like other epics might be overall better for, like, more situations. The Flatline, of course, comes to mind. There's even, um, a couple of LMGs that are pretty solid, but I don't want to get too distracted by my variant talk. I'm just thinking which variants I want to save for and it's such a tough choice because the last one I got was the Sentinel and since I had the Mammoth maybe the Sentinel wasn't the best choice but it's still good. You know, I still enjoyed using it. For a lot of this gameplay off the start here I kind of left a lot of it uncut because it was just me going on a mini streak and I'm kind of walking around the map showing the layout of it. This map compared to the other DLC maps um, includes a lot of like close quarter but also longer range of sights and now that I'm watching this gameplay over for several several times um I like it a lot I like how it flows I like how you can really outsmart your enemy with the different paths and wall runs you can take I'm super pleased with the DLC maps and I'm looking forward to playing them more playing them against other tubers at the capture event at the IW studios is gonna be much different than playing it public live in multiplayer and speaking of which, they released the leaderboards. No more tiers, guys. They released the leaderboards. You could check what rank you are. I believe each playlist goes up to 10,000. And uh, I think you need a, at least 150 kills in whatever mode in order to show up. So that's great news. You know, I know a lot of people were wanting that so bad. And although I feel like, honestly, people don't care, people do. Like, they, they do because they have a reason to now. The other CODs had them at the start, so shouldn't this one? Well, unfortunately, they weren't, and I really didn't mind. I, I didn't cry about it, but hey, it's the COD community. Trying to please everyone is difficult, and I kind of brought that up at the studios, and it's probably not the most <laughs> conversation-friendly friendly thing to bring up. I just spoke about leaderboards and how the community was so uh, upset. And they responded back by saying, a very passionate fan base, which I agree. Call of Duty is very passionate. Many people have strong feelings either way. So uh, you gotta expect that. But check this out. For the second game, how am I doing so, so much work? How am I moving this way? Why aren't I dying? Well, we're playing against bots. So I ran through the map, a multiplayer, well, with the other players at the event a few times. Then I decided to hop against bots so I can actually... Uh, get a lot of kills and <laughs> not die as much and also traverse the map in a more fun way. As you can tell, man, I mean, we're maneuvering around like we're parkour pros. 
I'm not gonna lie, bro. When the bots actually start shooting you, it won't be long until you're dead. But there's several times when they're playing and they'll just walk around like robots because that's what they are. But they're still programmed to kill. I was actually watching the movie iRobots earlier. Kind of just came to mind. But hey, you ain't killing me, Mr. Botman. Hey, you ain't killing me neither. In the comments below, I'm curious, what level are you in Infinite Warfare? I always run into people that are maxed out or even higher prestige than me. Because I think I'm like 6th going on 7th. Uh, Double XP is going on, definitely get that XP. I know I'll be grinding, I'll be streaming as well. Because I want to get more feeds like this against some real players. I just want to kill everybody and get all down points. My KD and IW is like a 4.2 and I normally don't boast, brag, show off KDs. It's just impressive to myself because it's my highest one yet. Though I feel like IW is also one of the most competitive CODs yet. Of course, there's going to be people that say it's bad. They don't play. It's okay. Hey, check this out. We blew up the car and I want to see how fast it would take to spawn back in it. Spawn back like 5 seconds after. Yo, 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 to wrap this bot slaying session up, check it. We just walking through them. We have the Raw Liberty Epic LMG 200 ammo count magazine. We shredding through their whole team. Sit down, bots. Y'all got nothing on me. What do you guys think of the map? Do you like it? Well, guess what? Because you got some more coming your way real soon. IW Sabotage DLC. Thank you for watching, and thank you to IW for inviting me to the studio. My name's Sean, a.k.a. Elite Shot. You already know if you're gaming on, make sure that hat's on. And if you're sticking with the Empire, you gotta stay elite. I'm signing out. Peace. Yeah.